Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, let us all get ready for a super awkward interpreting moment, shall we? Today I'm going to play a short clip that, in my opinion, is absolute gold for us interpreters. It shows one of the most difficult aspects of our job, one that is often overlooked. I'll give you a bit of context after the clip, but here's the essential. This is an event from 1971 between the president of Malawi, Astings Banda, and the Portuguese governor of Mozambique. He's off screen, so we can't see him right now. This guy here is the interpreter. Now, this clip is an absolute must to those who think that interpreting is just a linguistic activity. This will definitely show you the other side of things. We interpreters often find ourselves in extremely complicated situations for reasons that have nothing to do with language. This interpreter here is just about to find himself in hell, sort of. Subtitles have been added to the video so you have an idea of what's going on. The interpreter's rendition will be displayed in red color. Just pay attention to the awkwardness of the situation. To look after the interest of my people. Por isso, olhar pelo interesse do meu país. I cooperate with anyone. Para fazer, cooperarei, ou não importa quem. If necessary, the devil himself. And I'm not saying you are the devil. <laughs> For necessário, até chegarei a colaborar com o diabo. No, I'm not saying you are the devil. But if necessary, I'll do that. I believe in speaking to those with whom I do not agree. That was why I went to South Africa to have talks with Mr. Foster. That's why I went to Lisbon in 1962 é to have a é talk with Dr. Nogueira and Dr. Moreira. That's why I'm here today. I must talk to you. If I hope to influence I must talk to the governor general of Moçambique. So I can talk to you and say, oh, you colonials, the imperialists. <laughs> Not shouting at you from Addis Ababa. Ah, no. From London. Lagos. Oh, no. Yeah. But right here, I'm saying, you imperialists and colonials, right here. I prefer this. Then you can argue with me. Say, ah, oh, no, 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 I am not. I said, I say, prove it to me that you are not. <laughs> this is contact and discussion. But there is the proper essential of the young. Right, so there's a lot to unpack here. What we just saw is one of the trickiest problems we interpreters have to deal with. It's the problem of saving face. Some people glorify the idea of accuracy in interpreting contexts. For them, being able to render exactly what the speaker is saying is something that must be done at all costs. Good interpretation means accuracy, to put it in simple terms. But it's not that simple. And this interpreter just found himself in the worst possible situation. This is a high-profile event with highly important politicians and one of the main speakers basically starts insulting the other main speaker. He points the finger at the governor and calls him an imperialist and all that. Oh, you colonials, the imperialists. <laughs> I mean, the translation of the English word imperialist into Portuguese is far from difficult, but you can see how the interpreter immediately starts activating the panic button. So he decides to go totally silent and fully omits the accusations. But right here, I'm saying, you're imperialists and colonials, right here. I prefer this. Then you can argue with me, say, ah, oh, no, 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 I am not. I said, I said, prove it to me that you are not. This is contact and discussion. So the purists will probably say he did the wrong thing. He should have done his job and just translate whatever the president of Malawi was saying. But should he, really? This is a prime example of an interpreting trying to save face. Imagine that he actually translated the sentence, you imperialist, you colonialist. There's no way to tell what could have happened. For the Portuguese governor, who does not understand English, the insults would be coming out of the interpreter's mouth. Yes, he's just the interpreter, the messenger, if you will. 
But for all purposes, he would be the person saying the words colonialist and imperialist, not only to the governor, but to the rest of the room, which is full of powerful people. That's a very tough spot to be in no matter what. But here's the worst part. Portugal was under a dictatorship at the time. People would go to prison for all sorts of reasons. The interpreter probably doesn't know what may happen to him if he actually renders the words, but I'm sure he prefers not to find out. This comes to prove one important point. Interpreters are not just translation machines rendering content from one language to the other. They are real participants on every assignment. They are responsible for making decisions that have a real impact on the outcome of an event. There's no such thing as an invisible interpreter. That's virtually impossible. So here's the bottom line. From a linguistic point of view, what he did is an omission, which is obviously wrong. But from a pragmatic perspective, I really can't blame him for his decision. I mean, running away could also work, but that's not really an option, is it? So yes, sometimes saving face does take priority over linguistic perfection. It just depends on the context. Anyway, what do you guys think? Please let me know your opinion in the comments. And if you already are an interpreter and you have been in a similar situation, feel free to share your experience with all of us. Make sure to also like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in watching more content about translation and interpreting. That's it for today. Until next time.